Hey guys, here we are already halfway through November and I'll be honest, I completely forgot uh, not only to film an October favourites, but even to keep note of what my favourites were in October. Uh, so when I realised that today, I had to do a really, like really squeeze my brain to try and think about what my favourites were in October. So this is what I came up with, so I'm going to show you what I got. Um, I was trying really hard not to repeat any of my favourites from September because I'm still loving those like magical powders and like there were a whole heap of double ups when I started thinking about it. So this is what I've come up with, let me show you through. Okay, so the first thing that I was loving in October were the uh, Bishop Street Alpha and the Bolton Street Number from Kelly Stamps. Um, I mean, you know I'm always after a large number stamp. So many Alpha Stamps and even just like Alpha Sets don't have numbers in them. And so having a stamp set of just numbers, and these are large numbers, they're probably about two inches high. Maybe not, hold on. I haven't actually measured them until now. One and a half, one and a half inches high. Uh, it's just so handy to have basic sets like this. Um, and this Bishop Street Alpha was part of the sort of Christmas release from Kelly Stamps. Um, but it's just an awesome alpha. I've used it on so many things that aren't Christmas related. That being said, I have put it into my Christmas stash. Um, and I do have a video coming really soon about my Christmas December plans so keep an eye out for that um, but both of these sets are firm favorites and I'm sure you will be seeing them many 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 more times over the next well forever next coming months anyway I pre-ordered Elise's book basically the minute she announced it uh, love her style love her organization techniques definitely knew I had to get this book um, and apart from the fact that it's like it's one of the nicest designed books I've seen in a really long time. Um, there are just some super practical, useful organization sort of tips. Not just tips, she sort of walks you through it step by step. So it's just such a great book for organizing your life uh, and finding just that little bit more time to actually get things done, which is what I really was hoping the book would be about and be useful for. Um, and I'll say I'm only like maybe halfway through it um, and have implemented already a few different uh, tips that she's put in there and it's just making such a huge difference. So if you haven't already got the book, I would suggest grabbing it. It is really fun to read, beautifully written, beautifully designed. Just overall a really great book. I have not done a mini book in such a long time, but over on my Patreon page in October, um, I put together a little kit from my stash uh, and went through the process of putting this uh, mini book, mini album together for Lily. Uh, I basically had documented a day in Lily's life. Um, I had done a page for Kelly Stamps with just a single page sort of on the same theme um, and Michelle had suggested that maybe a mini album would be great and uh, given the issues that I had with Lil this month in November, I am so glad that I put together this little mini album in October. It was such a fun, um, fun few hours. I sat down on a sort of Sunday afternoon um, and put all these, all of these pages together. And like I said, I went through the entire process on my Patreon page, so they got to see how my sort of thought process behind this all, putting it all together. Um, but I just love it. I love these little 4x4 albums. Um, I used to have a whole stash of them. This is my last one, and I'm kind of sad. I'm sad that this is my last one. They don't seem to make them anymore, which is a little bit sad. I did manage to find a few extra page protectors so I could... Um, finish this entire album uh, but yeah that's the last one my last 4x4 album um, and it seems appropriate that it was of this cutie little dude so that's just a quick flick through the album if you do want to take a more in-depth look at the process um, there's always a link for my patreon page down below in the description box 
I ran out of covers for my traveler's notebooks a while ago so I've sort of been just stacking them up on the shelf um, I made some sort of flimsier paper covers for them uh, but what I really wanted to do was to try something a little bit different so I found this really awesome tutorial from Clover and Violet uh, to make fabric traveler's notebook covers and that's what I did um, I intended to make a couple I made like a million of course um, but I had such a fun time doing it I uh, spent a lot of a Friday night and the entirety of a Saturday doing it um, but I've got some really fun ones I love this little pencil one um, and obviously black and white was a big theme I also made this little charm using a wood veneer piece um, that Tina sent me and some gorgeous happy mail I mean happy mail has been a huge favorite this month too I've had some really really beautiful packages um, but anyway <laughs> enough about that my favorite was the fabric travelers notebook covers I will leave a link to the tutorial down below because it was actually really simple and was a super fun thing to try and my last favorite for October has been digging into my stash again I had a few weeks um, where I didn't have any design team kits to use uh, I didn't really know what I was gonna do so I just dug into my stash and I've really enjoyed it and really really loved the outcome so I had a couple of weeks this was for a Kelly Stamps um, design team assignment but I also used bits from my stash and I just love this is a bit of a cheat because I did do this in November but um, these two were October and you can see it's a favorite because I've carried it on um, it's I've got such a huge stash to use and because I have so many uh, new things coming in I just don't often get the opportunity or the time to really dive in and start using some of this stuff which is something I really want to try and tackle in 2020 God, 2020 um, so it, it's something it's a goal that I'm sort of working out how I'm gonna work that into my life but I would really love to start reducing the amount of stuff that I have already without buying too much more you know me I love buying new things but actually it was fun using some of these old things uh, using some of the treasures that I've kept because um, you know I wanted to hoard them it's such a terrible thing to say but I do often find things that are so pretty that I just want to keep them and I never end up using them and the whole point of having them is to use them so that's also a mindset that I'd love to change um, using those goodies doesn't get rid of them you still have them you have them forever in fact they're not there's there's no chance of them getting wrecked in a drawer or just not becoming a favorite anymore when you actually use things you keep them forever so that's the mindset that I want to have going forward from here but using up some of my stash has definitely been a huge favorite in October so that's it that's what I came up with for my uh, October favorites I am attempting to do a better job at keeping track of my favorites for November but again I'm gonna have to be careful not to do too many repeats because I'm still totally loving these um, alpha sets and the number set from Kelly Stamps already in November you'll have seen them a lot I'm sure so I'll try and find some new things for you but I am also trying to keep my uh, craft buying budget way 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 down um, so there won't be a lot of new products so hopefully I can come up with some interesting things for you let me know what you've been loving down below I'm always um, interested to hear what everyone else has been loving as well otherwise thank you for watching and I'll see you again really soon bye